Hey everybody, welcome back to the Missing Wrenches Garage YouTube channel. Today, we're working on our uh, Holly Ford face cart, if I can ever get the freaking thing together. What we're going to be doing is determining push rod length through proper rocker arm geometry, and we'll show you how to do that. So, we opted to work on this to introduce it to the new subscribers we've got. And also, there was a sinkhole that opened up up there with that F100 is, and... I'm not about to drive a 7,200 pound truck up here right now. Nope. So, with that being said, let's get busy. All right, guys. So, this, this hunk of iron and aluminum that you all are looking at is a 331 stroker. It's going to go into our Mustang. It's a uh, 87 block. It's a TE block. So, it's either the updated version of the block or it's a truck engine block. But uh, it's got scat bottom end, AFR enforcers, uh, comp cam, mailing oil pump, comp double roller time and chain, uh, Ford racing lifters, some good stuff. But I'm going to go to Lowe's real quick and get another uh, four foot shop lot to put over here because the lighting kind of sucks over here in this corner. But we'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, well, that made a little bit of a difference. It'd probably be better once we get it up there. Alrighty, now that that's up there, it makes even more of a world of difference over here, so. Let's get to uh, doing something on this thing. Today, we're checking these a different way than most people would. Most people, uh, they put like a little Sharpie mark or dry erase mark on the valve stem and uh, roll the motor over a few times. And if there's a, uh, a line in the middle of the valve stem, they call it good. That's gonna work in normal daily driver situations, but I plan on competing with that, and it's probably going to be sent to the moon a few times. So, what we're going to do is get a little bit more technical with it. So, you're going to have to do some math. Here's somewhat of an illustration. Okay, here's your cam lobe and your lifter, push rod, rocker, valve spring, valve, all that good stuff that's in there. So, at half of your lift, you're going to want your rocker at a 90 degree angle with the tip of the valve stem and we'll get into that you're going to need your cam card for this as well this is mine it's the comp xc 274 hr it's 555 lift on the intake 565 on the exhaust 274 duration on the intake 282 on the exhaust okay so for the intake side you're going to take your Lift your gross lift, which mine is 555,000. So you're going to divide that by two. That equals 277.5 thousandths. All right, so you're going to take half of your lift and divide it by 42 in my case because I have three eighths rocker studs. Three eighths is 24 turns per inch or 42 thousandths which one turn you move at 42 thousandths 7 sixteenths is 20 turns per inch or 50 thousandths okay so you take 277 thousandths and divide that by 42 because we have 3 8 studs it equals 6.59 which will be 6 and just a little over half of a turn Today's video was sponsored by my peckerhead cousin, James Welch, because uh, I borrowed this uh, push rod length checker tool from him like two years ago, and I've yet to return it. All right, guys, now that we got everything cleaned up, we're going to go ahead and put our guide plates on here. Um, these are the ones sent with the heads by AFR. They're labeled left and right. Now, with these being two-piece, when you go to torque them, they're going to try to move on you. Most people, if they have a TIG welder available, they'll tack it together, but I'm gonna use a chisel 
to stick down in there to try to keep it from moving while I torque it. These are uh, 7 sixteenths, by the way, and uh, AFR recommends 50 to 60 foot pounds, so we put it at 55. Uh oh. Looks like I need a deeper socket. I'll be right back. Hot. Now we got us a deeper socket. Everything's still lined up. All right, first and foremost, you're gonna go ahead and set your initial 90 degrees. You know your retainer is already 90 degrees with your valve. So we need to get our roller tip and our trunnion at a base 90 degrees. Don't worry about the roller tip angle. That'll all settle itself out. This part is critical. take extra time on this make sure you have your cam on the base lobe at the bottom of the lift Okay, I've got it at the best 90 that I can get it at. All right, so you guys remember that 6.59 that uh, was the answer to our equation earlier? Well, this poly lock, you're gonna turn it down 6.59 turns. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm just gonna put some uh, like arts and crafts play paint on that uh, poly lock right there just for a reference mark don't worry it'll wash right off just so none of y'all freak out in the comment section <laughs> okay so you're gonna hold this up all the way against it Make sure you got it somewhat straight. Make sure there's no binding or anything all the way up against it. And we're gonna turn this six and just a little over half of a turn. There's one. Two, three, four, hang on, I gotta adjust the jam nut. Just ran her in a little too far. Four, five, six, 
six. There's half. And we'll go just right past that. Well, shit, that's bad, guys. It looks like we're going to need a friggin' push rod checker tool. That one is a 7 sixteenths. Mine is 5 sixteenths. Great. And on those rocker studs, they were 11 sixteenths, not 7 sixteenths. I went back and listened to it after that. My bad. Alright. Bye bye. Lena. Look at mommy. Look at mommy. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, we're heading to Knoxville to my favorite little hot rod shop. So we'll see you when we get there. Performance products in Knoxville, Tennessee. Gotta leave that thing's nice. This place has got all kinds of stuff just in stock up here. to get a set of those. We have returned with the push rod checker. All right guys, I got my push rod checker installed. We're going to adjust on it until it's at zero lash, which is zero up and down movement. But there's zero up and down movement. It's on the base lobe of the cam. All right, there's half of our duration. And look at this. Now at half that duration, our rocker arm is at a 90 degree angle with the valve. All right, now all we gotta do is just uh, back this uh, poly all the way off, pull our rocker arm off, pull the tool out, and measure it with the dial if my dial goes that far. And 
go get push rods ordered. Uh, right, right now, we've got our dial set at six inches. Nowhere near big enough. All right, guys. So our dial wasn't long enough. So I grabbed a tape measure and measured that uh, checker tool out. And it was six inches and 23, 30 seconds, which if you break that down, that is 720 thousandths. So our intake side is going to need... 6.720 uh push rods and also uh that was just the gist of that way of finding your push rod length through proper rocker arm geometry um derek over on vice grip garage he has a video on one of his old videos that was uh the budget big block build um he goes into further depth, like on a whiteboard and everything. If if you want more information on it, you can go check that out over there. Also, and by the way, we are still doing our, our um, 500 subscriber hat giveaway. Um, I'm going to extend it out probably to the end of November. I'm having a hard time finding a company that will make them that I know is a legit company. Um, and also with, uh, with the hat design, if I can't get the Richardson's with a leather patch, I'll probably do a fitted like the Holly hat with it embroidered. But we've gained a lot of ground subscriber wise guys. And I just want to thank each and every one of you for it. It really means a lot. I just can't thank you enough. But remember guys, your dreams won't work unless you do. Keep them out of the crusher. God bless y'all. We love you, and we'll see you on the next one.